and now you're on the blue block. So the blue block has a morphing stroke, and you can change the frequency on this morph stroke. So if you hold it out, you can make it real long. And so while it's strobing, it's going to slowly change colors to the, to, through red all the way through a whole rainbow. But it morphs instead of just having solid colors. Every time it flashes, it's a new color in the rainbow. So after this is a morphing hyperstroke. So you can have it long, or we can go to the short, and you can see it's not quite the same color every time but in between the white dots. It changes. So it morphs while strobing with the hyper ribbon dot in the middle of it. This next one is random morphing with a strobe. So instead of going through a rainbow, it's completely randomized, but it also morphs while strobing. So after this, same deal, random morph strobe, but also with a hyper dot in the middle of it. So random morphing, strobing with a hyper dot. Last is just a standard white, but if you hold the white, it goes into a white strobe. So you can just choose how you want that white just to look. So there's white, and then the last setting on the white is just a solid white again. So you let it go back to solid white, you want to have a strobe white, you just hold it down, now you're strobed white. So next up, that's the end of the, uh, now we're going to go to the magenta block. So what the magenta block is, is choose your own color. So this is just a color hold. Now it starts off on red, but you can just hold the button down. It will morph to yellow, and it will hold on yellow. So if you want to just have a perfect solid yellow, you can let go. Then it morphs to green, holds on green. It, it does a, a short hold on every single solid color. So on any of these particular colors, I can let go, and it will choose that color. Right. So if I want to have like a kind of a, a light green, I can wait till it holds on green, and then let go. And now it's kind of like a teal, limey. a teal, limey green. It's not quite green. It's not quite aqua. Or if I want to have aqua, just hold it. Now it's on aqua. You just let go. You got an aqua aqua light. You hold it again, let go on blue, you got a blue light. You let go on magenta, you got a magenta light. You let go. So all these color options are all in one mode instead of having to click through a bunch of modes right. to change through what color option you want if you're talking about a straight color ribbon. Right. So holding the button, any color you want. Doesn't matter how what color you want, it can make it. So every color, there's you know, there's hundreds of colors right here alone. So next up, if you do a click instead of a hold, it's going to keep the color you have, but now it's going to strobe it. So you can switch in between that color and then strobing with a single click. And if you hold it down, it will slow down the strobe so that it's easier to see what color you're choosing. But as soon as you let it go, like let's say if I want to go to a green, you let it go. And now it's back to a real nice strobe for green. You want, you know, if you want a blue, you just hold it down until it gets to blue. Let go. Now you got a solid blue strobe. Next, you can do a click. Now it is a hyper strobe. So it's a blue with a hyper strobe. You hold it down. You can choose whatever color you want. You want red. You let it go. Now you got a red hyper strobe. Any color with the hyper strobe, and it will just hold on that color. So the last two modes are what we call freakout modes. Some people might call them sort of a demo mode. What uh, freakout does is it's, it just randomly chooses a mode for you, and it will just constantly cycle between modes. So you never know what's coming up next, but it's always just a great ultra point mode. So the first freakout is what we call the uh, the slower freakout, and so. All the colors are. This might actually be the tight one. <laughs> Hyper freak out. Yeah, this is like the, the the super speed freak out. So all the colors are tight. Now you can change how long it stays on each mode by holding down the button on the freak out. 
and now if if you choose like say red there, it's gonna go between modes real quick. So hold it. Let's hold it down and cycle through the modes. Right so there. let's just go through green. So if you let go on green, now it's gonna hold. It's gonna hold on that mode for a lot longer. So a lot like the way the uh, color morphs work. Every time you change when you're holding down and you're and the colors are flashing by, those are durations. And so, however, it goes in the same order on uh, being longer durations or shorter durations when you choose that color. So if you go to this magenta here, now it's going to hold on that thing for like a good 20 seconds before it chooses a new mode. So another setting on the Ultrapoi micro light is instead of having a favorite mode, when you turn the light off, it automatically turns back on in the same mode and the same frequency where you were before. So, so right now we're on a fast rainbow strobe. You double click it to turn it off. And then when you click once to turn it back on, it's back in the rainbow strobe. So basically, if you want to turn it off on your favorite mode, you'll start back on your favorite mode. Right. 